had a nice day ashore, the key, Biscayne, and now I'm heading out because the bugs started biting. And we might just anchor out here, or we might stay all the way over to Dinner Key. So it's the next morning, and now I'm sailing the rest of the way over to Dinner Key. It's four and a half miles. I just anchored one more night here just because the current and wind were against me yesterday. But now, now the current's against me, but the uh, the wind is with me, and we're moving about a knot and a half. So we'll get there in no time. This boat came with this little yellow umbrella that just uh, is a perfect size to go on the winches. And it's really nice, it gets me out of the sun. I'm gonna move it to the top winch there or that winch there, depending on where the sun is. And really enhancing, enhancing my cruising experience out here. <clears throat> the winds are pretty light today, so I'm gonna take out the little mini drone and we'll get some videos of our boat under sail. Well, the drone was a failure. My charging port on my iPhone is too corroded, so I couldn't plug in the remote. I guess I need a new phone. We're only going a knot, so I jumped in and swam with the boat for a little bit. Ah, it feels so good. It's really getting hot out. I swam underneath the boat uh, yesterday and got a look at the bottom. And I was under the impression the boat had been sitting for almost two years in the marina. Uh, so I don't know if the previous owner had been cleaning it or what, but it's like in really, really good shape. It's just a few, bar a couple barnacles around the waterline and some definitely some green stuff around the waterline, but the the bottom is like super smooth. This boat's in pretty good shape. <laughs> Well, it's real clear, you can see the bottom here. We have been wing on wing the whole way though, so that's kind of nice. And the boat steers really good wing on wing with the two jibs. I like that. I, I gotta get myself a, a cutter or a slutter or whatever kind of rig in the future. I like the double head sail option. It's only, it's kind of annoying to tack the big Genoa because you gotta like slide it through that slot. But I think a, like a normal cutter where the slot was a little bigger would be maybe better. Or if I had that sail on a furler, so I could furl it up a little bit. And then I want, I want to set the jib up as like a self-tacker. That would be cool. We're at the Dinner Key mooring field. Lots of boats here. And then the anchorage, I think, is on this side. Looks like some moorings also. Oh, well, let's anchor right in between them. Maybe a spot right, right up here. Give it a try. I got the anchor down here. I'm pretty happy with this position. We got pretty good distance from all the other boats around us. And uh, I'm not sure about the bottom. I mean, I guess it's maybe sandy, sand and seagrass or something. Maybe I'll swim down and take a look. Really don't want the anchor to drag. But we've got some distance from the uh, little island there, and uh, I got out about 100 feet of scope, and I think we're in about five or six feet of water, maybe. I picked up some of this uh, epoxy putty stuff. So I'm gonna try to put that around the rudder uh, tube and see if that will uh, seal up that little leak we got. So I'm just kneading my uh, putty, and now it's a brown color. It smells, it smells kind of like 
old fish. Put it on the repair. I can see the hole right there. Let's fill that guy in. Okay, so there's my repair. Hopefully it's stuck on there good enough. We'll just leave that to dry for a day and see how it looks. Thing. Now I'm paddling ashore to Miami. It's an interesting option. You just tie up right in the mangroves. Maybe I'll consider that. Here's the public dinghy dock. That's an interesting boat there. We're good and locked up now. Let's go explore. So here I am in Dinner Key. I'm not a huge fan of this anchorage. The boats are pretty close together uh, and I had to leave the boat now. I'm heading to Norway to visit Anneline and uh, so I got my stuff packed up for two weeks. I'm gonna leave the boat here. Hopefully it doesn't float away. Honestly, the anchor on this boat is not so big. I meant to get a bigger one. All right, I got the paddle board loaded up with so much stuff, but uh, here we go. I love that thing. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. My SAS flight got rescheduled last year and I ended up with a $750 uh, flight voucher. So I figured it'd be a good chance to go to Norway for a couple of weeks this winter. There you go, yeah. Halfway! Here we are on the top of the mountain with our skis and we're gonna try to learn how to, ski. to Nordic ski <laughs> or cross-country skiing. It's very windy today but well, there's no one here at least. We're doing pretty good on the skis, getting the hang of the skating. And uh, mine don't grip very good and yours are too skinny and hard to balance on. They go like this. Yes, and mine, mine go like this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be in Olympics pretty soon. Oh, I mean, Pros. we're getting there. And then we're got, our next stop is up to the top of that mountain. <laughs> That's Yeah, you ready to get ready to do the jump? Oh, yes. Whoa. Oh, it's okay. Oh. More vegetables. <laughs> so I just
just got back from uh, Europe and, and my uh, new friend Doug here held on to my paddleboard and drove me from the airport. So now we're gonna see if uh, this my sailboat's still there. I'm curious. Well, my sailboat is gone. This is a bummer. It was just right behind me. And uh, I wanna roll around the whole anchorage, see if I can find it, but uh, the wind is kinda strong. So with the paddleboard, I'm kinda just dipping backwards. So I met this guy, uh, Carlos, a couple weeks ago before I left. And I, I had to have his phone number and we're gonna use his dinghy to go hunt down uh, my sailboat, see if we can we can find it. So the search begins. The search begins. <laughs> so we're looking for a boat with no roll and uh, blue sail cover. We've been all over. Haven't found anything. No luck yet. I keep seeing a boat. I get so hopeful and then we get close enough and then it's got like something my boat doesn't have. But we'll, I'll check with the Coast Guard and BWC and uh, maybe, maybe they found something. There was some real strong wind a few days ago. I could have blown it like further off towards uh, Key Biscayne. We'll find it. There it is! Woo! <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> you can see the wind server. Yeah, someone put it on the mooring. Great. I'm happy for you. That's not even my boat. Thank you, man. You know? oh, thanks so much for driving around with <laughs> the motor. Looks like someone put us on a mooring. Everything's on there. Yeah. Okay. So where are we? The anchor line, I don't think the anchor line is split. I'm not sure, yeah. something, like but nothing, any doesn't look like it was bumping up and against it anything too bad. I took the outboard off, so I'm glad I did that before I left. Cool, man. Awesome. We found it. We found it. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think my anchor is, is gone because the anchor road broke, so Doug and I are going to the West Marine to get a new anchor. All right, we have the anchor. <laughs> 60 bucks, 70 dollars. They were on sale at least. But this one's a little bigger than my other ones. I should have bought this before I left. Then maybe we wouldn't be in this situation here. <laughs> so I got the, pumping on the paddle board, I got my new anchor and a bunch of extra chain and uh, rope. So we're gonna go find my boat and we'll re-anchor it. Ooh, that thing looks fast. Very carbon fibery. All right, I'm back on the boat. First step is uh, hooking up my anchor rope and chain together so I can uh, get ready to move this boat out of here. All right, there we go. Which looks like I lost one of my solar panels. So my battery's dead. <laughs> and the sail pack ripped open a little bit. But, hey, that's the worst that happened at, at the end of the world. Now to untie this masterpiece of a knot the guy set me up with. Okay, off we go. So just drop my anchor right here near this little island and uh, super shallow. Like I think I'm both almost in the mud, but that's fine. I think we got just enough wind for a little uh, foiling session, wing foiling session. So anchored here overnight. It was real windy last night and uh, the wind was was kind of keeping me awake. But then this morning, I was like, once the sun came up, I'm like, I'm gonna go out and, uh, and go on the hydrofoil. And so I took my wing foil out and it was pretty good. But then as I was coming back in, yeah, the, uh, the hydrofoil snapped right off of the board. I, I don't, I'm not really sure what happened. 
like this was the place where I put the most layers of fiberglass and I followed the instructions just like it said I guess it needed more layers of fiberglass and then it stayed connected to the board you can see it just broke right off at that joint there <clears throat> but luckily I've got plenty of uh, epoxy and fiberglass so I think I can fix it I just need to make sure it's it's when I glue it back together it's nice and straight um, yeah, I mean, obviously, so the foil will go through the water straight. Uh, and I'll just put a bunch more layers of, of fiberglass on there. But that was, a, that was kind of a bummer. Like, I don't think I hit any, anything underwater. Well, maybe I did. I don't think I did. It, it was a little shallow, so I guess I could have hit some. But I didn't feel anything. Like, sometimes I, I run into the sand, and you kind of feel, and you just kind of fall off. Uh, but that time, I was just kind of moving along really, really slowly, and I just... <laughs> fiberglass the the wing the hydro boat has floated up beside me so we found out who saved my boat and tied an excellent knot what was your name sir i'm bert from Atlanta stolen and salvage oh thank you bert for saving my boat you're welcome sir i'm sorry it happened to you yeah in the middle I, of the night, an elevation storm with a lot of wind and a lot of rain a big wave so i paid the boat salvage guy and now i'm off my on my way to uh the boat show miami boat show Yeah, 109 miles an hour. This is the world's fastest electric boat. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm going to sail down to Ramrod Key. I'll see you guys then.